Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we're going to be checking out this 2024 GMC Canyon AT4. Now before we get started, I know a lot of you guys are in the market for a new vehicle. Make sure you click the links in the description down below to get the best price on a new or used vehicle. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video while you're watching it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below for more car content. Now let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, we'll start off with the motor in this vehicle. This is a turbocharged four cylinder with 2.7 liters of displacement. It has 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet of torque. This motor is gonna give you plenty of power. It is very quick off the line and you have 7,700 pounds of towing capacity. So you'll see underneath the hood, we have our battery, we have our windshield wiper fluid, very simple setup under here. It does not have hydraulic shocks. You have to lift it up manually with the stick right there. But other than that, it's a great motor design. Now let's take a look at the front end. So for the front end of the GMC Canyon AT4, you'll notice we have our LED strip right up here in the headlights. We do have fog lights right below that as well. You also do have your turn signals right by the fog lights. This one is finished in the Summit white color from GMC. So you have your GMC logo right here in the center, front camera right there for your 360 camera system, AT4 badging right beside that. You also do have two additional fog lights below two red tow hooks, and you do have your underbody skid plates, as you can see there. So tons of off-road capability for the front end. Same design on the other side, and we do have a very aggressive looking hood with these nice designs right here, very nice lines to give you an aggressive appearance. You also do have cuts next to the wheels for increased ground clearance. This is gonna give you 9.6 inches of ground clearance for the front. But very nice looking front end. Let's take a look at the side. All right, so moving to the side of the 2024 GMC Canyon AT4, there's only one way you can get this truck for 2024. It's with the five foot bed and crew cab doors. That's the only configuration you can get. So they all come with the same exact setup, but you'll notice we have these beautiful wheels. They're gray with this kind of aluminum finish on them. The GMC logo right there in the center. These are wrapped in Bridgestone Dueler all-terrain tires. We also do have a two-inch lift from the factory. So that's how we're able to achieve that 9.6 inches of ground clearance. Also gives it a very aggressive design. You also do have these black plastic wheel arches on the front and on the back as well. We do have these black mirror caps with our camera right below that for the 360 camera system. We have black finishing around the windows and you do have this button on the door. So what this allows you to do is with the key in your pocket, you can lock or unlock the vehicle. And for the passenger seat, we have a full power seat as well, which is super convenient. Moving towards the back, we do have these wheel arches on the back that are kind of increased out to the side to give you a more aggressive appearance. Also, we do have a two inch lift in the back as well. So same exact lift in the back as we do have in the front. We have a single exhaust tip moving out on the passenger side and we do have this side step. So you can step up in here, get into the bed nice and easily if you need to. But that's everything on the side of the truck. Let's take a look at the back. So moving to the back side of the GMC Canyon AT4. First thing we'll notice is we have our badges back here. So GMC Canyon and AT4. We also do have these steps on both sides. So we have one for the passenger side and we do have one for the driver's side. Now, another thing we'll notice towards the lower portion is we have these circles in the bumper. There's two on each side. So those are your parking sensors. So if you're getting close to an object, the infotainment system inside will beep at you and let you know to stop. You have your towing hookup right here. Like I said before, it'll tow 7,700 pounds and you have your spare tire underneath. As you can see there, this is not a full size spare tire, but moving up, we have this textured plastic. This will help you keep your grip if it's wet outside so you can step up into the bed. We also do have a four pin and six pin connector underneath as well. You can see right here by the handle, we have our backup camera and we do have a locking cylinder for the tailgate. So we'll go ahead and open that up comes down nice and easy. Another thing we'll notice is we do have a ruler back here. So this goes all the way out to four feet or 48 inches. We also do have this storage cabinet 
right inside of here. So we'll go ahead and unlock that on both sides, open that up, and you'll notice we have pretty good storage space back here. So you can store drinks, equipment, fishing stuff, whatever you need back here. Let's go ahead and close that up. The way you close that up is to put a little bit of pressure on the tailgate and you can go ahead and lock those back into place. Moving to the bed, first thing we'll notice is we do not have a spray in bed liner, but we do have tie downs on each side. So two tie downs in each corner comes out to a total of eight tie downs. You also do have a 120 volt outlet. You can hook up whatever equipment you need back there. And we do have the two tier loading system. So if you put a two by four in each of these slots all the way across, you can put a piece of plywood on top and that will give you two levels of storage. But like I said before, this is a five foot bed, pretty good depth on it to give you plenty of storage space. But let's go ahead and move to the driver's side. So on the driver's side, you'll notice everything is exactly the same, except we don't have our exhaust outlet back here and we have our fuel fill up. So the way you open that up is to push on this, opens right up for you. This vehicle will take 87 octane and it has a capless gas fill system. So no need to unscrew or screw back in a gas cap. Very convenient feature, but that is everything on the driver's side. Let's take a look at the back seat. So moving to the back, let's go ahead and open up this door. First thing we'll notice is this has the jet black and umber interior. So we have these nice tan accents on the doors. We have tan stitching as well. We have these very nice door handles and we have our lock and unlock right there. So you can push this down to lock it or pull on the handle to unlock it. You also do have your own window controls with storage on the top and storage below as well. We also do have a speaker inside the door, but moving to the seats back here, you're supposed to be able to seat three people back here very comfortably. I think in my opinion, you could seat two adults. So one on each side and maybe a small child or teenager right here in the middle. In the middle as well, you have this pull down. You have two cup holders right there in the center. and Another interesting feature on these seats is they do fold up. So if you pull up on this tab right here and then pull up on the seats, which I'm doing with my other hand, you can lock it into place so you can have more storage space or you can get access to your tools down here. You can see your jack and the tool to get out the spare tire. These will lift up on both sides and you can put it back down by lifting up on here. So we have nice accents on the seats back here leather seating surfaces with the tan piping and stitching as well. We also do have these cool marks on the seats in tan. Very nice seating arrangement back here. But let's go ahead and step inside. So I'm about six foot tall on a good day. Pretty good leg room back here. Not a ton, but it's just enough to seat an adult back here. You also do have storage behind the driver and passenger side as well. We have two cup holders right here, two more in the center, and you do have your AC vents right here. So two AC vents, and you do have a USB-C and USB hookup with your phone, as well as a three prong down there. You also do have handles on both sides. So if you're off-roading in this vehicle, your backseat passengers can hold on. Like I said, there's one for both sides. You also do have your lights that you can cut on as well. And you have a sliding rear glass window. So you can open that up and have a nice open air feel. But that's everything for the back seats. Let's take a look at the front. Moving up front to the vehicle, you'll notice we have our keyless entry right here so we can unlock the vehicle with the key in our pocket. We also do have our mirrors right here with the blind spot in the mirrors. So this car right here will light up orange if something's in your blind spot. You also do have a camera underneath as well for your 360 camera system. But in the driver's side door, we have these cool kind of carbon fiber accents, tan stitching, tan right here. We also do have storage on the top middle and lower portion as well. You have your mirror adjustment so you can adjust the left or right mirror. You can move those up, down, left and right. Fully automatic driver's side window, window controls for the front and back as well. We have our door handle, we have our unlock and lock buttons as well. We also do have a memory driver's side seat. So you have two different settings with an exit setting as well. Full power driver's seat. So same as the passenger, you can move it forward backwards you can move the lower portion down up you can also move the whole assembly up or down and you can recline or decline the seat 
You'll notice up front on the driver and passenger seat, we have the AT4 logo on both sides. We don't have that in the back, but we do have that up front. You also do have your power lumbar controls. But let's go ahead and step inside and get this baby started up. So we're greeted with an animation on the screens. This is an 11 inch screen with the 11.7 inch screen. So you have the GMC logo that pops up on both of them. Let's go ahead and put our foot on the brake, start it up, and she comes to life. So we'll start off with the steering wheel. This is wrapped in leather. You also do have the tan stitching as well. We have our cruise control buttons on the left side, as well as our forward collision gap adjust. So you have a three car, two car, or one car length. You have hands-free voice commands on the right side, as well as a quick tab for your music. We have call answering and call dropping, and we can also go up and down through the menu and hit enter. We have a heated steering wheel, and we also do have this button right here that will change the layout of that 11 inch screen. So you have a few different layouts. You do have one for your built-in Google Maps navigation as well. We'll go ahead and scroll through all those right now. So you have a few different options in the center screen. You'll also notice up here, we can see what gear we're in, what drive mode we're in, and how many miles we have until empty. Behind the steering wheel, we have our mirror controls. So you have your windshield washer fluid, and you can also adjust the speed of the windshield wipers. We also have an AC vent for the driver's side, two right here in the middle, and we have one for the passenger side. On the passenger side, we have the AC4 logo, with this tan padding right here, right below the glove box, which has pretty good storage space, as you can see there. Behind the steering wheel, we have our buttons right here, so you can go down or up through your music, and you can also turn the volume up or down on the right side. Right below here, we can adjust the brightness of this 11 inch screen, and we do have our towing um, trailer brake adjuster, so you can turn that up or down with these buttons right below it. You can also open up the hood with that latch right there, and we have a manually adjustable steering wheel. So if you pull down on that, you can telescope the steering wheel in and out, as well as move it up or down. We'll go ahead and lock that back. Like I said before, you have your start button right here. We also do have this button right here that we call the fart button. So as soon as you press that, it'll roll all the windows down in the vehicle to give you that open air feel or to vent out anything. You also do have automatic stop start, hazards, lane keep assist, and this aux button right here will cut on that 120 volt outlet in the bed. You also do have a wireless charging pad for your phone, USB-C and USB hookups, and you also do have your different drive modes. So if you flip this to the right or to the left, you can change your drive modes. So we'll go ahead and check those out. So we have normal, we have off-road, we have towing, we have terrain that can only be used in four high mode. And we do have normal again. So a few different drive modes on this vehicle. We also do have our four wheel drive controls. You have auto, two high, four high, and four low. We also do have an electronic parking brake that you can activate by pulling up on it, or you can turn it off by pushing down. We have our shifter right here that you can shift by pressing this button right here on the back. If we go into reverse, you'll notice we can have our 360 camera system pulled up. We have our surround view on the left side, and we can see behind us on the right side. You also do have a couple different lines. So you have one for parking and parking spaces and one for hooking up a trailer. So that's the one for parking spaces. And then this one is for your trailer hookup. You can also cut that off completely by pressing it again. You can also turn off the surround view just like that or cut it back on. You'll also notice we can see our front or our back wheels. We also do have a zoomed in view of the front and a zoomed in view of the back. We can also see behind us or in front of us as well. We also do have a hitch view. You can also see underneath the vehicle on the front or the back, which is super cool. So if you're off-roading, you can see how much clearance you have left. You also do have this view that will let you see in front of you and underneath your vehicle as well or you have both of views, the front or the back. So really cool camera system in this vehicle, but if we pull back, we can go in neutral, drive, or L mode. Let's go ahead and put it back in park. 
We do have two cup holders right here with this kind of black multicam camo. We have our center console right here with the tan stitching. You can open that up and you have the storage cubby that you can take out to have even more storage space inside of there. Now inside here, we have a cigarette lighter port charger right there as you can see. But let's go ahead and close that up and take a look at some of the controls up here. So we have dual zone climate in this vehicle. So the driver's side can be different from the passenger side and vice versa. You can also turn down or up your fan speed, depending on how you want it. We can also cut that on or off. And we do have cooled and heated seats for the driver and passenger side. Moving to the infotainment system, we have our vehicle status app. So what this allows you to do is see your tire pressure. You can also see um, your engine air filter life. You have a bunch of different things right here that you can see for your maintenance. So oil life, like I said, we have our tire pressure and brake pad life for each tire, as you can see there. You can see all the way around the vehicle, so really cool design in the touchscreen. You can also see your tires and brakes, fluids and filters, engine, and your trip odometer. Going back home, we have our Google Assistant. We have Google Play Store, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. We also have all those cameras that I just showed you, Amazon Alexa, trailering, settings, and climate. Swiping to the right, we have our Wi-Fi hotspot. We also do have an off-road app. So you have your Baja, which will show you your G-forces, latitude, longitude, steering angle, and your transfer case. You also do have terrain, where you can see your pitch, roll, and tire pressure. And you also do have your overlanding tab. So what this shows you is how above sea level you are. So right now I'm 195 feet above sea level, and we do have our compass. We also do have our audio tab, AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, as well as Bluetooth. Built-in Google Maps, we have our phone controls, my GMC app, and we also do have this air down mode. So you can set your target tire pressure, and if you hop out the vehicle and air down your tires, it will honk the horn and let you know when the target pressure is achieved. So really cool feature right there. We also do have Google Podcasts and Google News. We have this dial to the left where we can turn up or down our volume, as well as mute or unmute. Rear view mirror right there. We also do have our OnStar buttons. We have our lights above here as well. You also do have a sunroof in this vehicle with a manually open sunshade. You can open up that sunroof right here by pressing on this button. Opens up all the way for you. You can also close it back as well. Everything is one touch, so super nice feature right there. You can also tilt up the sunroof just like that or tilt it back down. We have a makeup mirror for the driver and passenger side, as you can see there. This one also does have Bose audio with storage behind the touchscreen. So a ton of super cool features inside this truck. I love the off-road look, off-road features inside of here. Let's take one last look at the outside and then we'll take a look at the window sticker and see how much this thing costs. All right, guys, so that is the 2024 GMC Canyon AT4. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below for more car content. Also, I know some of you guys are looking for this truck. If you want the best price on this truck or a new or used vehicle, click the link in the description down below or check out the pinned comment. But absolutely beautiful, aggressive off-road truck. Like I said, we have 310 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque with 7,700 pounds of towing capacity. But make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think of the GMC Canyon AT4? And let's check out the window sticker. So here's the window sticker on this vehicle. Like I said, it's the 2024 GMC Canyon four-wheel drive AT4 crew cab. Summit white with the jet black and timber interior, 2.7 liter turbo max motor, paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Base price of this vehicle is gonna be 43,000. This one has all these packages on it. So with destination charge and everything, this one comes out to $51,600. Here's the safety ratings on this vehicle, and we can also see the gas mileage. So we're going to get 19 miles per gallon combined, 18 city, 22 highway. And here's the whole window sticker if you guys want to pause the video and take a look at it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. So if you enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe down below for more car content. You'll also see these videos that are about to pop up in the corner. If you see any vehicles that interest you, make sure to click on those and check them out. And like I said, if you guys want the best deal on this truck or a new or used vehicle, click the link in the description down below or check out the pinned comment. But that's it for now. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.